hey, it's January, it's cold, it's hot, 70 degree temperature swings outside, and sometimes even crazier inside it could be when the sun comes out in here. Um, it was 90 degrees yesterday, and last week I was freezing my bubbles. Okay, stop. 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 They pop as they freeze. Ooh, a big one popped back here. Today is Throwback Thursday, and we are taking you back this time last year when we were gearing up to plant hundreds of heirloom tomatoes and peppers early last February. So we're in the greenhouse here, and we noticed that it had a baby. So we're going to make it work, too. We're going to put all our seeds over here that we, we're getting started into the greenhouse, but it has no door. Baby, no door. So we're about to do that right now. So we got these zipper doors here. We just gotta zip them to the front, the side down. Here we go, Tony. Where's that gonna fit? Imagine, if you will, sitting down to your morning coffee, turning on your home computer to read the day's newspaper. We can heat this whole greenhouse. Uh, which is, it's, it's gonna be aquaponics, so next year it will be heated, but we had this old carport, and we thought, let's throw some extra plastic over it. Uh, but the thing is, is you don't wanna be a slave to your greenhouse. Say, uh, weekend rolls around, or Sunday, or whatever, and it, the sun comes out, it could be 120. I'll find out, it probably could be even hotter than that. A greenhouse inside a greenhouse, that's three layers of plastic, two on top, and, and then this little greenhouse here, it's, uh, we're getting ready to put all our starts in. So what I did is, on Amazon I found a thermostat. Plugs into all our outlets. We got outlets everywhere. You see every little box all the way down. Boom, 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 boom. We can plug in anywhere. Start a science project anywhere we want. Start some mushrooms, whatever. This little guy will run an exhaust fan that fits right up here. Where's that exhaust fan at? Pull that out of there. I don't know how well this is going to work, but it's got its own shutters. Um, looks like it's going to fit right in the greenhouse. Put some double stick tape up and seal it up. Let's see, not damaged in shipping there. We're going to install that sucker right here in the cross beam right there and try to seal some plastic around it so that when the sun does come out and it doesn't matter if it's zero degrees outside, if the sun comes out in the middle of the day, it does get 100 degrees in here. Um, you know, if it was zero degrees outside, it'd be like 80 degrees in here. 30 degrees outside, it'd be 100. Uh, especially in that little greenhouse there. So we're gonna put this exhaust fan, which I haven't done a lot of calculating on it, but it will empty out all the air in that little greenhouse every two minutes. So about 1,000 cubic feet. This is about 2,000 cubic feet, you know, 20 by 10 by 10 minus the corners, anyway. So uh, I'm about to put some uh, sensors in there and, and have it all graph out on the web to see how well it actually does cool off in here. And then at night, when it's zero degrees outside, it does get cold in here. And rather than heat this whole gigantic greenhouse, we're just gonna use this oil heater here and it should do the trick. We'll see, we'll see it all grabbed out and we'll know exactly what it can and can't do. So we just busted this cover off, woo. Like that, we're gonna mount that inside there and put some double stick tape right here and seal it up on the greenhouse. This is the dangerous part. Just before I made that cut, I figured out I was doing it all wrong anyway. So we took the fan apart, took the cover off. We are going to just mount that with some screws right here. Then cut the plastic in the back, put some double stick tape, see if that works. Here we go. These are self-tapping screws. They've got like a little drill bit on the end there. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Only for super coordinated people. <laughs> I think that's good. Yeah. That is so good. Yeah. But <laughs> I think that's totally good. Oh, yeah. Take some abuse. See if it'll even go on now. There we go, looking good. 
just cut the backside out, put the thermostat on, and we will have a self ventilating. There it is, that's what it looks like. I'm cutting this with a really sharp razor here, right along the edge. All right, Tony, we're gonna try to get in. I'll hold the plastic out. Well played. We got the tape on. Now we're just gonna stick it, stick it down. See if this louver works here. Turn that thing on. Boom. Looking like R2D2. Okay, so our exhaust fan is working. Here, we're gonna hook it up to uh, the cheapest thermostat plug-in that we could find. And then to see how it really works. Uh, anybody know about these? They're just little sensors. Anyway, these aren't the final sensors we're going to. These are just some plug and play sensors. Temperature, humidity. So, you know, who cares what the thermostat says? I want to see what the temperature really gets to in the most extreme cold. I mean, we just hit 28 degrees yesterday. And, and uh, so this little sensor... I have no idea, it might be a piece of junk, might be good. Anyway, we're just gonna leave it here on the table right next to our plants here. Um, we have yet to fill this thing with plants yet because it was too blazing hot before we put that brand new door and that fan. But we're bringing them in now. We're gonna put this little sensor and it's going to feed back to my phone and graph out, you know, year, you know, every day it's gonna graph out uh, months and months and months worth of data uh, and send it back, you know, we. We can put a label on this one inside the mini baby greenhouse, and then we can put another one on the in the bigger greenhouse and one outside. They're indoor, outdoor. Um, the reason why we're not going with these sensors is in the long run is they're uh, not open source. They're inexpensive and plug and play, but we want to get some open source sensors in here um, that we can code ourselves. Time to hook up the thermostat. Where is that thermostat? Here is the easiest thermostat I've found it is uh, I have no idea Lux anyway we're gonna set it to turn on this exhaust fan say Sunday rolls around and we're fishing and we're like oh man we forgot to open the baby greenhouse door it's gonna automatically turn on that fan and exchange all the air in this room every two minutes okay this was plug-and-play I didn't even read the instructions like any other thermostat we got this one set to cooling mode that one, the other, the other one of these functioning on the heater side. So uh, theoretically, without testing, we know that this will kick on as soon as the temperature gets as high as 80, and the heater will kick on. We'll say we'll set that um, at 65. So anytime the temperature drops below 65, the heat's turning on. Um, there'll be some temperature fluctuations in here that we can see as a uh, as we this thing will graph it out on your phone um, on your computer see what really happens in reality if this fan which is supposed to circulate the air twice or once every two minutes if it actually does the job or if I've undersized the fan here we go so it turned on at 80 it's sucking air blowing it out I wish my phone had enough memory I could put good programs on I got like 150 pictures and it's like, everything's full. Oh, that sucks. I'm like, dude, I got, I got 150 pictures from the last time I was in Arkansas that I haven't uploaded yet. That's, that's when you're going to catch a massive bass. I know, and I'm like, yeah. out of memory! 20 pound catfish. No. We, uh, we was tearing up Trout and Liberty, dude. I saw that. Man, dude, kill him. So, that is it. It's about, we're going to call it a day. There's our thermostat for our heater. Heater's right there. And this is our cooling system this should it should be sized to keep things between 60 and 80 degrees all the time without them we could get literally down to zero while the sun's you know at five o'clock in the morning we get down to zero and and for the heat uh, it, it could get 120 in fact it's been 120 in here many many times so the only way this is possible is that we're in here in the mothership, which keeps a pretty, uh, pretty good temperature. It's a big heat sink, um, but it'll get real hot. So that's the door, brand new door. We're gonna shut that up and uh, feel pretty confident about our plants. 
we won't know until we turn the sensors on and uh, start checking the data daily. Um, it'll graph it out for us for months and months and months, our highs and lows. If you like these videos, like and subscribe down below. That goes a long way. If you want to see more videos, head over to Patreon. We are releasing a ton more content over there. If you want to see more, consider supporting our video efforts over at patreon.com forward slash the urban farming guys. The more support we raise, the more videos we can make. We also have exclusive content over there for our supporters. If you want to get involved, take a class, do an internship, or if you want to come volunteer with us, go to the urbanfarmingguys.com, the website. Or maybe you want to come and teach a skill at the makerspace. You can make some money doing that. You can teach a welding class, teach a sewing class, uh, CNC router, CNC laser. There are a lot of ways you can get involved. Come serve as a mentor on the robotics team for a season. Or you could donate tools. Uh, we have a whole list of needs on the website. You can sponsor a project that needs funding. Projects in various phases that need your help. You could come to Kansas City and manage a project here. Short term, long term, you could join the makerspace and start inventing, start building out your ideas, start your business. We have studio space and co-working space as well. Go to theurbanfarmingguys.com to see a list of our needs and all the ways you can get involved. And thanks to all of you already involved, you guys are making it happen. Together we are helping disadvantaged communities rebuild from within. See you next video.